In today's episode, we get started on our mega storage facility, and we also finally get going on steel product production. Welcome back to another Satisfactory, my fellow friends. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. I'm having a great one myself, and in the last episode, we built up this little steel factory. And it's working fantastic. In fact, we've managed to upgrade all the belts and get everything running to the maximum efficiency. Uh, so each floor is generating 270. We have since added another floor, uh, which has maximum efficiency again. Uh, we are currently bringing in uh, coal from way over there and iron from over here. And as you can see, it's literally just waiting. We've also jammed in a ton of ingots into the stack. The stack is entirely full of ingots. And this one is being used right now to uh, produce what we need temporarily. We're just kind of manually, not manually, but you know, we have one little limited production line here making ourselves some steel pipes and steel beams so that I can unlock the next tier of good stuff that's gonna come out of the space elevator. So let's take a look. Uh, we've already started, we've already made the smart plates. I think we we did that last last episode. I've already made the trusses and I'm currently working on the rotors. I need 100 rotors to make these automated wiring. So uh, 100, 100, it's a one-to-one -one ratio, one rotor and a bunch of wire. So well, let's jam up all of this stuff inside these trusses. Let's get these into our uh, space elevator. And once we have 100 rotors, which we're really close to, we'll switch manufacturing over to make the automated wiring and then we should be donezo and I'll be very 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 happy because then we can start working on some new stuff because I kind of miss not having the the whatchamacallit working away for us making cool stuff all right so we're at 97 uh, 98 99 huh huh ah 100 100 there we go let's switch production over so we'll grab, actually, you know what? I'm gonna just gonna let it run because we have we have a lot of stuff in here. We'll let that run while we actually go take care of the other stuff because we're gonna need extra, extra ones coming up, probably, if I was to guess. And, I, and I, I'm pretty sure my guess is gonna be right. <laughs> we're gonna need more staters in the near future. Also, I don't think this building was here the last time I showed you. It was in the screenshot. Hi, can I jump, please? Thank you. It was in the, the, the thumbnail for the last video, but I don't think I showed you on camera. This is our screw plant. <laughs> Basically, yeah, here's our, using the same model as over here. We're bringing in, you know, like a Mark II belt full of stuff. Uh, we're processing the ingots offsite like we do. And we're coming in and this is the first floor. There's two floors and this is jam packed already all of this is like a stack of rods sorry not screw factory is a rod factory uh, which can then be used for screws i was i was thinking ahead uh, because screws are my nemesis they are required at such a large volume and in some cases we just don't even have belts that are capable enough to deliver said screws to the projects we need so anyways this is our rod factory and we can keep stacking it up just like this one. These are stackable buildings, stack, stackable designs. They can go up forever and ever. Uh, and uh, if we need to do that, we will. So today, I once I get the space factory filled up, which won't take long now that we have the ability to do it, I want to unlock the next tiers and get cranky on that. I also want to actually start producing some steel products. So I want to get our beams set up. And I want to get our pipes set up. And if we look here, each of these unclocked, for example, uh, we're doing 50 a minute right now at 250. But if we were to go down to here, we produce, uh, let's take a quick look. Uh, yeah, it's 100%, please. 20 per minute. And I want to see how many steel ingots we need. Probably 15 or so, 30. Okay, so 30. So that means we can produce, un w without overdriving it, we can produce uh, per floor, so I figure what we'll do is for this floor, we'll, we'll run pipes. Uh, that means we can produce uh, nine times that, so nine times this. So 180 pipes per minute. So that's what we're going to set up in another building. Now, with when it comes to the beams, let's switch it over to beams for a second. It requires 60, so basically we can do 90 per minute per floor, which is not bad. I think I think that's not bad at least. So 
I don't know. We'll find out. Because I have a sneaking suspicion uh, that in the next tier, we're going to need a lot of the cement. What are they? The reinforced casings, the ones where you combine the beams with the cement. I have a feeling that's coming up next. And we're also going to have to deal with our cement factory, which is currently done because we're not really building anything. Also, I know that most of our factory isn't running, but our, our energy, our electricity is actually hanging it's staying tough, man. Uh, now, granted, most most machines, like I said, are not running because that whole like this whole plant isn't running right now, and half of that plant isn't running. So our electrical needs will probably skyrocket when it uh, when it gets set up. So, anyways, let me let me you know pass the night doing some maintenance work and getting ourselves a building set up, and I'll see you shortly. All right. So this is what I'm thinking. The first floor will have five for one side, five on the other side, and each of these will make uh, one set of thingabobbers. In this case, we're going to make steel pipes down here. So this should make a 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180. So 270, I guess, is the magic number because there's nine of these times 30. So that's 27, right? Yeah, because it takes in 30. Actually, no, sorry, it'll produce uh, 100. Did I do the math wrong before? It'll ingest... 270, it'll spit out 20 per, and there's how many? One, two, three, four, five, nine. 180, correct. I did it right. My math, it's morning. Have a coffee. Oh, coffee. Ah, coffee, wake up. <laughs> Anyways, we got it. We got to sort it out. So 180 is going to come out of this floor for the pipes, uh, which is what we were expecting. All right, awesome. So we'll run down the thing here in the middle, and then we'll build the up, and then, and then, and then, and then, blah, and then, deep. And we're done. <laughs> All right. And power's on. And I think we're going to start to see some energy problems now that we have everything running. Okay, so perfect. This is all set up. Now we just have to take the outputs from here and put them into a storage facility. And that's another thing we'll probably want to do sooner rather than later. And that's actually create storage stacks in a storage building. Uh, that we can draw from. And we can also take it... Uh, oh, that was really bad. <laughs> I don't know. How am I going to get back up? Problem solved. <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying, we're, uh, we'll probably want to make a storage stack and have an overflow that goes into a sink. So anything that... A if it ever actually fills up because we're not using it for some reason, it doesn't just sit there and stop the production line. We actually start making coupons... Uh, which we still need. We still need a few. Actually, still need a lot. So, yeah, that's a thing. Uh, so, yeah, it looks like... Uh, let's take out our, check out our power. Yeah, it's gone up a little bit. Because now uh, that whole floor should be... Well, half of that floor. Because... Oh... Right. We're actually only producing 50%. What does this one produce? 45. 45. Oh, okay. All right. So, 90, 135. Right. We need both lines to go in. So we actually need to remerge or repatriate, if you will, <laughs> the rest of that to make this production line work at its efficient, uh, most efficient. So I'm going to have to do that as well. Also, I think we're done over here making stators. I didn't let it run and make as many as possible. And let's see here. Uh, we are clear. We're clear. Okay, good. So let's go ahead and change this to automated wiring. And it looks like if we just uh, grab a stack of stators and we jam it up in this one right here 100 of these guys uh, we should produce the 100 automated wire we need at six per minute it's gonna take oh boy 10 14 let's say 14 ish minutes give or take and then we'll be able to yeah yeah then we'll be able to uh, unlock the next tier okay we're now moving all of the steel ingots into the one line here. So that should maximize production up there, which is fantastic, nice and clean. We also have this massive stack that we can use for whatever we want, which is also fantastic. Uh, what I'll probably end up doing is when we build the second floor here, we'll extract all of these ingots out the top and into that production line to clear that backlog, uh, which is good. We also have kind of like a full storage unit there of uh, what we need and then this will clean this up later once we can move that little elevator right there because I can't build then we can build out this platform and I'll probably realign this belt as well 
just to pretty it up so it's not so ugly. And then I think, if I remember correctly, we're probably only need... I don't know if we need two walls or three... Oh my god. Where's the ladder? Give me the ladder. Give me the ladder. Let me get up here. Alright, I think... Yeah, I think... Oh, I guess we can do it on two. Alright, we can do it there. Okay, let's break that. I just try to see what floor height we have to go at. So that is three, right? One, two, three. Perfect. So yeah, so we can go ahead and put in our second floor right there. Uh, which I think lines us... Does that line us up? No, we'll still be above by a little bit. That's fine, though. So then we go ahead and install on the next floor a slightly smaller production line. Uh, although it can expand if we want to. It'll be just slightly smaller because we haven't... Uh, we'll be producing the steel beams and they they take more ingots and therefore will require fewer constructors to make. Okay, so this is just temporary right now uh, just to get rid of everything in the stack and so we're bringing all of the ingots into here and I believe this is going to take 60, 120, 180, 240 and if we underclock this to 50% uh, this should be at exactly... Let's just type it in. It's just so much easier sometimes. Now, 500%. <laughs> that should be a 30, so that should be the 270 that we will extract out of here. Uh, once this is empty, it should be cranking away. Oh, and I need to connect that belt to there. Perfect. And everything should be good. Yeah. So there you go. Those are the two floors all set up, and these are going to make the steel beams, which we're going to then capture at the end here. I made a little walkway right here so we can get up to this floor, which is nice. Uh, works really well. These are finished and backed up now. We actually have to egg, uh, basically <laughs> do something with the storage. So that's kind of my vision for now. And then later, actually, I'm wondering, do we have... Oh, we do have the conveyor wall mounts. So what I want to do here is... I will probably... Well, you know what? Yeah, so f for consistency, what we'll do is we'll put a merger here, and it'll go up to there. So we'll have one of these mergers right, right, right on there. And this should just shoot right across from here to there, and hopefully that'll work. I might actually... Let me just think here. I might have to put in a floor right here. And let's do this so I can actually... Can I jump up there? Do you think I can? Oh, I can! All right, sweet. Yeah, so, hmm, let's see if we can get that merger really nice and tight. Let's just get this set up ahead. Okay, so which way we're going to go? We're going to go that way. Is that is that real? Is that a thing of beauty, or is it going to be a thing of annoying -ness? No, it's a thing of beauty. Fantastic. So that's going to go in there like so. And then we can get rid of this one. And I assume we're going to put it right there. Oh, can't, can't reach from here. Let's go up here. We'll put the pole in. And this will be fantastic. Right there. And basically, we'll be set up now. So this will go from here, and this will go right to there. And then, when this is empty, we'll run this over to here and reverse the flow. And everything will be uh, so, so, so happy. And I guess... Let's see here. Let's grab that. And I think we can just put that right in the middle there. Right? Uh oh Did I do two there? Sometimes you can do that. It's kind of weird. It lets you double stack stuff every once in a while. I don't know if that's a bug or not. Uh, like so. Perfect. And so once everything is empty, actually we should just do that right now. Ah, we can do that right now. Let's do that. Let's go back. Let's make it make it so. And we'll stop stacking. We'll stop filling up. Oh, can I not run this way? Oh, I can't do it. <laughs> Gotta jump. Ugh, it's too fast. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh. Okay. Sweet. <laughs> Whew. All right. So let's see here. Let's put this. I don't know. <laughs> Is it okay? So assuming it's yeah, I think we're good here. It's probably right here. To get a nice toit 90. See if we get it. Uh, and this is, I think this is overkill, this belt, but whatever, who cares? We're doing it. We're doing it! It's working, and it looks beautiful. Oh, I love it. I love it! Isn't that nice? Doesn't that look great? It's all nice and clean. It's all nice and set up, and we're ready to rock and roll. 
for the next the next floor as soon as that's done. As soon as we're done producing. Wow, I'm 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 impressed, man. I'm I'm super impressed with what we got done in such a quick amount of time. I mean, seriously. These buildings are going up so fast. I'm so happy. All right, now, that being said, 30. Why why what's going on in here, man? Are you got Oh, out of cables. Out of cables? What? No. What? Wow, it takes a lot of cables. Holy moly. Holy moly. Okay, well, let's just get all the cables we can afford to stick in our inventory here. Jeez, I wasn't expecting that, but I guess that kind of makes sense, maybe? Maybe, maybe not? Let's see, what does it require per? 20 cables per. Okay, so... Yeah, there we're going to need 2,000 cables, I guess, right? 220 times 100? Yeah, that's 2,000. I math's good. I did the math's good. So 1,000, that's... That should be enough in there now. I don't think I did the math right. Uh, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 800, 1,000, and we've already made how many? 32. So you're definitely going to need more. Definitely going to need more of this stuff here. Bam, 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 bam. We'll just make sure we have extra, and then we don't have to worry about it. Okay, so we're going to wait on that. And I'm going to do a little bit more building over on this side and get uh, some of the floors all set up. Actually, before I do that, do we have concrete on us? Do we? Yes, we're good. All right. The floor with all of our ingots, uh, sorry, our steel beams is now complete. And I think we're good. I'm not 100% sure if we're at maximum 15, 15, 15. This belt can hold 60, 60. So that's fine to there. Then I've got a Mark II here. That yeah, should be okay. That's 15, that's 45. These hold 60, that's 30. Uh, so 45, that's 105. And this next one up is a Mark II, and the Mark IIs can do 120. So we should be good. Should Once it's cleared the backlog, we should be a-okay. Also, got our storage building up and running. It's It works. So right now we're just pumping in two resources and basically this will be the center aisle and then we'll just stack these up. I'm not sure how high yet, but basically inside of here uh, we are pumping in pipes and they'll essentially fill to the top and then on the bottom we can, once it fills up, we can also just extract them if we need some. We can come along here and, and use them like chests, right? So here you can see the beams are coming in and then on the back side they're going to be going up and yeah we'll be able to store screws and everything like that and then from the central storage facility we can then extract them and put them anywhere we want so everything's looking good nice and clean uh, as we need it we can bring in more of these belts and i'll just basically stack these on top of each other and then make openings here just like we have these little gates so yeah uh, i mean there's enough storage in here probably for every item we need i can't imagine it getting much bigger than this uh, because there's just only so many items that you actually don't use or consume right away. So, that being said, let's go finish today's episode off with an absolutely amazing feat of sticking things into the space elevator. Uh, we've got the last few bits of pieces. Thanks very much. Let's load it. Let's seal it. And let's send it. Oh, baby. Tier 5 and 6. Oh, feels good, man. Off it goes into outer space. See you later, buddy. Bye. Bam. Looks good. All right, let's check out our facility here. Let's uh, see what we can build. Oh, tier five and six. Oil processing. All right, so refinery, plastics, rubber, fuel, circuit boards, coke. What else we got? The manufacturer, right? That's the big thing. Truck. Modular engines, adaptive control units. Uh, it's all about those fluids, dem fluids. Tier 6 is what? Uh, fuel generator, Mark IV. Actually, this right here is kind of what we want to get into right away. Uh, but that requires these computers, which requires a manufacturer, which also requires plastic. Oh, yeah. So it looks like fuel is the next thing we've got to get into already, which is a okay. Am I able to make any of these things now here? No, they've changed that. They're actually forcing you to use manufacturers and assemblers to create things, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. So we're going to have to figure out oil production, and that is going to be a big shift. 
That being said though, we have a lot more work to do here in getting our basic resources up and running. So I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start piping in uh, the rods and we're gonna have to get a screw factory up and running because we're gonna need those heavy modular frames, which also I believe use the steel cased beams, whatever they're called, cement encased beams. Now that we have all this set up, uh, we're gonna have to expand our factory some more. Oh boy. Anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for today's episode. You know what to do if you like it. Make sure you bang in the like button down below, crash that subscribe button. As always, I love to hear from you in the comments. My name is Crash, and I'm out.